What is up guys, Orbital Pilot back here once again in the world of War Thunder, and this time, for the very first time, we're taking out in a ship. Now, I'm not sure if this is uh, War Thunder coming out saying that we're going to put ships in soon, uh, but for April Fool's Day, they put in an 18th century battleship, and it is amazing. Uh, I'm not sure how long it's going to be active for, uh, but it was active at least April 1st. So. I recorded two gameplays. The second gameplay I did a little bit better, but I'm just gonna let you uh, let you guys watch that if you want to. I figured this is probably not gonna be around for a very long time, so I'm gonna get as much content up on it as I possibly can. So I'm gonna narrate the first game, and the second game you guys can just watch. Okay, so what it would do it was it would spawn two different sides of ships in. Now, of course, everybody's in the same same ship right now because they only added one. Um, but it is fully modeled, and so what I mean by that is that all the sails work, everything works just like a 17th century ship would. Um, and it, they appear to even have damage models, so that is awesome. Uh, they obviously put quite a bit of work into this. So I'm not sure if tier 1 ships, when they actually add them fully into the game, is going to start with this era. I don't think so, because planes... And tanks start around early World War II, late World War I era stuff. Um, so I don't think that this is going to be in the game. Uh, I think it's just for April Fools. I think we're probably going to start off with, you know, light cruisers or, or whatever they had in early World War II. Um, so I kind of rushed in in this gameplay. Now, this is not the smartest idea. You'll see in my second gameplay, I kind of wait uh, below and kind of let my team rush in. And what you want to do with this with these types of ships where they only have cannons on the side is you kind of want to hit your opponent and then you want to stop and turn around as quickly as possible to let them you know to let your other side hit them too uh, by the time you get your ship fully turned around uh, your other side of the cannons will be reloaded now these cannons are not very high velocity of course uh, so you have to lead quite a bit I haven't actually ever hit a shot above half a mile so it's, it's really, really, really hard to hit uh, with these cannons at long ranges. As we can see there, I somehow miss. Um, but I'm trying to use this rock up in front of me as kind of a, a safety thing. Just like I would in a tank where I use cover, I'm trying to use the same thing in ships. Now your goal, obviously, is to capture the point. Um, and you do that just by driving in it just like tanks or just like planes on arcade battles. And it's a great great idea and this makes me so excited for when we actually have full ships tanks and planes in one game so as we can see there I hit his sail now that's what I mean by damage model uh, it actually seems to have full buoyancy programmed in so this is kind of our first peek at how ships is gonna work in War Thunder and um, that's why I tried to get as much content up on it as possible so as we can see there I miss again but as soon as my side or the right side of my ship is done reloading the left side uh, will be firing and so on and so on so you kind of always have a side reloaded um, be careful with this this is where I get my first hit as you can see I get a very very direct hit on him um, but as I line my guns up he lines his up uh, you can ram people in this game but it kind of puts it's it's really really weird because as we can see my buoyancy goes down obviously because he kind of just tipped me over uh, I have water in my actual ship but if you ram somebody in a ship you can't get guns on them and they will have guns on you um, so right now I could fire and I do uh, get a very nice hit on him of course I don't hit him with all my cannons uh, but I do get enough to damage him so it's kind of a w win lose situation yes you might actually tip them and uh, you know and they won't have enough buoyancy to float or you won't be able to get guns on because this will be happening uh, also try to use other people as cover especially of enemies as we can see here I'm trying to use him as cover so that his teammates can't shoot me without also shooting him I mean if, if he's gonna go down if I'm gonna go down he might as well too alright so get another hit on another ship now this is dumb I shouldn't have gone here there's obviously way too many ships over here but um I was trying to get some interesting gameplay. Uh, the next gameplay is very, very slow, and as we can see, those cannons are kind of devastating. Now, I do hope that they will at least add these in, just kind of for uh, to play around with once ships are fully in, because 
18th century and 17th century ships are just so much fun to play. Uh, if you've ever played Black Flag Assassin's Creed, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, this is a great, great game mode. So, get one last hit on it. I mean, this is kind of his last breath. He is going down, but sadly enough, so do I. Uh, the ship's kind of exploding, just falling into the ocean. I don't, th I don't think that's fully modeled in right now, so it's probably going to change in the future. Alright, so I'm going to let this second gameplay uh, go on. It's a kind of a slower paced gameplay. It lasts for 10 minutes instead of 5. Um, but I do get far more kills. And, uh, well, I kind of help win the match. So, if you guys want to watch that, just continue watching. I will put the volume all the way back up. That way you can hear just in case you didn't get to play, uh, you know, Friday. So, guys, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time.